Hey there, Saints. Pastor Dave here with another weekly devotion for you this Wednesday. I hope you're doing well today. I want to share a quick reading from David Kuntz's Quiet Mind. Uh, This is a meditation on sunshine. Keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see the shadow. Attributed to Helen Keller. Read Helen Keller's words again. What do they mean to you? I'm fond of this aphorism because it seems to me they can mean two very different, maybe even opposing things. Let me paraphrase each one. First interpretation, keep looking on the bright side of life, emphasizing the positive, and then you won't even notice the negative and painful parts in the shadow. Keep your face toward the welcome sun and you won't even notice the unwelcome shadow. Second interpretation, watch out. Because if you only see the bright side of things, you will miss out on the dark side, which can then do you harm. If you only look at the sunny side, you'll miss what the shadow side has to offer you. Here is an opportunity to practice both and rather than either or. We don't have to affirm one and deny the other. We can use either, both, or neither. There are days when I need the sunshiny encouragement of the first interpretation, and other days when I need the shadowy warning of the second. There are whole periods of life when I need one more than the other. There are also times when neither one hits me as significant. Which of these two truths is best for you right now? Or do you need them both, but in different parts of your life? Or not at all? Saints, I wonder whether you find yourself feeling like it's more of a sunny day or a shadowy day. Uh, after the, uh, after the, the gloomy rain of all last week, it's nice to have the sun back out and shining. I think we all feel a little bit more positive just naturally when, when it's a nice, sunny, bright day. I think we all feel a little bit more anxious, a little bit maybe more scared or um, threatened when it's gloomy, when it's dark, uh, when, when the shadows are falling upon us. But in even the, the figurative sense, we know that light and dark are part of our lives, no matter what. So how do you take this saying, this, this uh, phrase from Helen Keller? Is your life more defined by light or by darkness? Are you someone who tends to look at the, the good things to the point of maybe ignoring the threatening things? Or are you someone who tends to dwell on the negative and the, and the bad things in life such that it maybe even crowds out the blessings and the positive? I think you gotta find a balance, right? I think it's important for us to be realistic about what is negative, painful, hurtful, not the way that it should be. But as we do that, we also need to keep our face toward the sun. We need to keep our attention toward God, the source of life, the source of peace, the source of goodness, the source of justice and righteousness and truth. Otherwise, we get bogged down in those shadows. We get overwhelmed and we are unable to accomplish the things God wants for us to do, be the people God wants for us to be. You know, Helen Keller, of course, was famously blind, couldn't see the sun or the shadow, but she could still feel the warmth of the sun on her face. I really think that's a wonderful uh, reminder, that, that image, that as we turn toward God, we feel the goodness, we feel the peace, we feel the, the safety and the security. As we turn toward God, even though there may be things that are painful or dangerous or hurtful in our lives, we will have reassurance. We will know that we are loved and cared for. To borrow uh, some words from a favorite uh, singer songwriter of mine, John Foreman, he wrote a song called The Shadow Proves the Sunshine. And the message of that song I've always loved, uh, it, it reminds me that even when things are bad, even when our lives are dreary and gloomy, even when we are weighed down by things we don't want to have to face, just recognizing that there is shadow can be a reminder that there must therefore be sun. There must be someone who cares for us, looks after us, loves us, and has a better plan for us to even know and notice that things aren't the way that they should be. 
Saints, I hope that is helpful for you this week. I hope that's something worth thinking about. I hope you are doing well and staying healthy. I'll be praying for you. Please keep praying for me, and I'll see y'all again soon. Take care.